Welcome back to another VideoPad video editor tutorial with easy to follow step by step instructions. Hey everybody, thanks for joining me again. Ever wanted to go back and edit a video after it's been exported and you already closed VideoPad but don't want to hassle with redoing everything? Well, here's how to save all your work progress so you can pick off exactly where you left off. This can save you a lot of time and effort, especially if you've already spent hours doing all sorts of editing. To do this, you can create a VideoPad job file, which has the extension .vpj, and this file is a record of all the editing you've done and all the files you have used. As an example, I've loaded some images onto my timeline, and now I want to save my work. Click on the Save Project icon from the upper left-hand main menu. The first time you click on Save Project, the Save Project As dialog box opens and you will need to name your file and save it in an appropriate folder. I suggest you save this file in the same folder where you have all your videos related to this project but it's up to you. When you're finished, click on Save. Once you have created your VideoPad job file, to save further editing changes, all you need to do is click Save Project icon again. If you wish to have a VideoPad job file for only some editing changes, like maybe you want a Part 1, Part 2, etc., you can click the down arrow from the Save Project icon and choose Save File As. The same dialog box will appear and you can rename the file so that you've now created two separate VideoPad job files. There are a few ways to open up a VideoPad job file. One way is to first load VideoPad and then from the main top menu choose Menu, File, Recent Projects and choose your file. Another path is Menu File Open Project. This will open up your File Explorer and you can choose the .vpj file of your choice. Double click the file and all the files associated with that video will open in VideoPad. Another option is to directly open your File Explorer program and choose the vpj file you wish to work on. VPJ files are associated with VideoPad and should open automatically into VideoPad. Warning: For this to work, you must be careful not to rename any file or folder, nor to move any file or folder. If you do, you will get an ugly Resolve Missing Files error dialog box that looks like this. It will identify the name of the missing file. And at this point, if you wish, you can click on the Resolve button and rename the file or files in question back to the exact name as listed in the error message. Note that if you've moved a file or renamed a folder, you will have to change this too. Once you have renamed all the errant files, click on Finish and it will load. To do all of this is a hassle, so I strongly recommend that if you think you will be re-editing your video, do not change the name or location or folders of any of the files you have used. Let me show you how cool this is. As you can see, I have no files in my bin over here and there is nothing on my timeline. I am going to choose Menu, File, Recent Project, and here I can find the project that I was working on yesterday, I called it Take 01 VPJ. Wow, that was quick. All my saved work is here and I don't have to do any of this again. Thanks for watching. Tick that like button and be sure and sub to my channel. You can find all my video pad tutorials from the link in the description below.